Okay, um, I'm only in half a gig because I want to do a video on knife attack. Um, and the main reason I've got, I'm in, just in a white t-shirt is so that, you know, I can show you. Steve's gonna be attacking me with, uh, with a knife. Um, just remember that, you know, there's different ways people will attack with knives. Um, but, and there's the standard things, you know, people will come in this way, people will come in this way, people come in this way, people come, people will come in different ways with knives. But the one thing that I have not yet seen on YouTube or anything is the fact that not only do people attack different ways, different strikes, slashes, stabs, etc. But the other thing is, knives come in different shapes. Knives come in totally different shapes. This one's good for punching. What if someone's punching with this? How would you defend against that, for example? Knives also come in different sizes. Okay, so um, I'm not after really an amnesty on knives right now um, because these are ornamental use only. Um, but you know, let's imagine that somebody's, you know, my, my arm defense would not defend against this. It doesn't matter if the person's doing this, if the person's doing this, if the person's doing this. So, you know, just know that people will attack differently um, with knives, but there's also different knives around us, different sharp, let's just say sharp objects. Okay, and can they be carried around? I don't see why not. I don't see why not. So we're gonna get Steve to use th this one to stab me straight in the gut, okay? So as he grabs the knife, and I'm gonna use the most basic application for a knife attack, which you see a lot of Juju UK or even over the top of the head. So nice and... Uh, <laughs> So as he comes in with his knife, my Juju UK isn't going to work. It's not going to work. Let's say he's stabbing me from this side. That is not going to work. Okay? So here's my advice on knife attack. Somebody pulls a knife on you, do not attempt to defend yourself. The only defense I would teach you for knife attack is run like hell. And I'm gonna prove a point. So I've got a white t-shirt on because Steve here is gonna use something in replace of a knife. And I'm just gonna see how much, you know, 20 years experience in martial arts versus what, 10, 15? 10, 15 years experience in martial arts. We've known each other for years. And he's not going to use a real knife because that's just insane and stupid. But I've got a white t-shirt on. As you can see, zero marks. So he's going to pull his knife out. Which is a pen. So he's going to use a pen, alright? Now the goal is, is for him to, no holds barred until I say stop. Um, the goal is also to not draw pictures all over my face and my arms. The goal is just to go here. So I'm limiting him as to where he can strike. Anywhere where there's white t-shirt, okay? I'm limiting him. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Um, an attacker isn't gonna be limited. It's not gonna be a simple case of, just attack me here. They're gonna be attacking wherever they can, okay? So just have that in mind. And he's gonna come at me full force. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. So, what I want to do first of all is start off slowly. And again, a knife attack, I want to start slowly. And then it's going to build up. We're going to try and stay in line with the camera. So you can stab, you can, you can, uh, you can slice, you can do whatever with that pen. And let's just see what happens. All right, are you ready? So Big Bad Bully pulls his knife out and starts attacking. Ah, don't stop, stop, ah! And stop. Okay, for example, he dropped his knife. We could have come in with this, but he picked his knife quite quickly. I've been stabbed. So now we're gonna go full force again, and he's not gonna drop his knife this time. And let's, let's also just say that here, <laughs> it's only a small blade. All right, so let's see if we can get some slashes on there as well now. 
So nice and strong. Go. Stop, 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 stop. In that process, the knife broke. He broke my knife, which is only a pen, thank God. Because as you can see, from my white t-shirt, there are his attacks. I've been stabbed, I've been gashed. Did he get me around the back anywhere? Is there any on the back or on the side? Some on the side maybe, let there. That's a bit deadly, isn't it? What's, what's behind this? You know, I don't know, my lungs maybe. I don't know if there's any on the back, but he's got me on the side, he's scraped me on the side as well. So, I only thank God that it was a pen. So my advice is, somebody comes at you with a knife, my wife's gonna kill me because she's gonna have to wash this. Um, my only advice is, if somebody comes at you with a knife, you know, he had two bites of the cherry. The first bite was bad enough. I've been stabbed probably five, six, seven times, slash maybe the same. Um, there's bigger slashes, bigger slashes. <laughs> there's one right there. Um, I don't know if, if it's my kidneys that are there, if it's my, my you know, there's, there's some vital organ around here, I'm sure. Um, you know, there's a heart behind here. There is a heart behind there. Um, you know, he's opened my guts up. So, that's my advice on knife attacks is, but he's not getting it on McGee, which is good. Um, that's my advice on knife defense. Um, probably gonna get disputed, probably gonna get, uh, get wronged, but do you know what, I don't care. I would not, in my entire life, teach somebody how to defend against a knife. Why? Because one, you give him false hope, two, you give him false hope, and three, you could potentially kill somebody. You know, a knife comes out and they think, ooh, my sensor said this. Hmm, interesting. But don't forget, not only do knives attack different directions, they also come in different sizes. And they come in different uses. So yes, all well and good. We can use a knife for slashing and stabbing, but this is just the, you know, you can use, this can be quite, quite happily concealed. And it's more like a knuckle duster. So, you know, I would avoid, and I'm probably gonna get the police knocking on my door saying, I want your knife, which is fine. You know, I don't mind that whatsoever, they can have them. But they are only on a little use. Um, but they could still do, they're, pretty, they're still pretty pointed. You could still stove, you know, stove this into somebody's head or into somebody's gut. So just remember that knife attacks, different ways of, different ways of attacking, there's all different sizes of knives. You know, a lot of what you see on YouTube probably won't work against a knife that's, you know, a machete or a meat cleaver, you know. It's not always the standard, you know, four inch blade. It's four inch, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not always a standard four inch blade, you know, flick knife or whatever it is. There's different ways of attack, there's different, different knives out there. So, you know, this is with a pen. This is with a pen. I knew where the knife was coming from. Tried to defend myself as much as I possibly could. I knew where I was defending. I knew I was only defending this, this area. So I defended this area as much as I possibly could, but the knife still got through. And, oh, I got my elbow as well. <laughs> so that's my, elbow, that's my elbow cut. Didn't notice that, but I would have noticed it if it had cut it. So just have that in mind when you're watching these videos on knife attacks, all right? There's only so much self-defense is gonna do for you. Okay, subscribe, like, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment, um, leave, leave your thoughts. Alright, I'll speak to you soon.